Today, we're delving into a critical issue that demands our attention, the state of racial disparities in the United States. From coast to coast, cities grapple with varying degrees of inequality, particularly affecting black Americans. In this video, we're going to break down the data and unveil the worst cities for black Americans in terms of economic opportunities, home ownership, education, and employment. But before we dive in, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to stay updated on our latest content. Let's get started. Number 12, St. Louis, Missouri. Data from Smart Asset reveals significant economic disparities between black and white Americans in St. Louis. For instance, the median household income for black households is approximately half that of white households, with black households earning around $28,000 compared to $55,000 for white households. These gaps also extend to education, where only 16.4% of black adults hold bachelor's degrees, compared to 70% of white adults in St. Louis, despite comprising less than 50% of the city's adult population. Similarly, in terms of home ownership, only 31.5% of black residents in St. Louis own homes, compared to nearly double that figure for white residents. Given the significant correlation between home ownership and wealth accumulation, this presents a clear issue. Number 11, Mobile, Alabama. Smart Asset recently ranked Mobile as the seventh worst city in the United States for black Americans and a closer examination of the data sheds light on the reasons behind this ranking. One major concern is the widening gap in home ownership, which has increased over the past decade. In 2010, the gap between white and black homeowners was 19.9%, but by 2022, it had grown to 36.5%. Furthermore, the median household income for all residents in Mobile is $47,180, but for black residents, it is only $32,000. When comparing white and black residents, this disparity becomes even more pronounced. Additionally, only 55.6% of black residents are active in the labor force, one of the lowest rates in the nation. Number 10, Akron, Ohio. Situated in northeastern Ohio, Akron is a mid-sized city with approximately 189,000 residents. Unfortunately, it ranks among the worst cities in America for black individuals in terms of household income. Black households here earn a median income of $32,800, significantly lower than the citywide median of about $42,000. Additionally, there are notable disparities in home ownership with only 31.35% of black residents owning homes. Moreover, black residents face a higher rate of mortgage application denials at 52.9% compared to 32.5% for white individuals. However, the city has taken steps to address these issues by declaring racism a public health crisis. This acknowledgement comes in response to evidence indicating that racial discrimination has resulted in adverse outcomes for both patients and healthcare providers in the area. Number 9. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania When one thinks of Pittsburgh, images of steel production, iconic foods like pierogies, or perhaps the setting of Mr. Rogers might come to mind. However, what may not be immediately apparent are the stark racial disparities present in the city. Pittsburgh ranks as the fifth worst city in the U.S. for economic disparities among black Americans. The median household income for black individuals is less than $29,000, compared to $54,600 for the overall population. Furthermore, the rate of home ownership among black residents is only 33.88%, and just 20.14% of black adults hold bachelor's degrees, contrasting sharply with the citywide rate of 45.7%. These disparities have significant consequences, as evidenced by research from the RAND Corporation, which found that being black in Pittsburgh increases the likelihood of experiencing hunger sixfold compared to white residents. Number 8. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Milwaukee, Wisconsin recently earned recognition as the third best large city to visit in the U.S. for 2023. However, living conditions in the city paint a less favorable picture, particularly for its black residents. Black residents in Milwaukee face significantly higher rates of food insecurity, inadequate housing, and poverty compared to their white counterparts. 
These disparities can have profound implications, leading to health inequalities, impacting the overall quality of life, and reducing life expectancy. For instance, white residents in Milwaukee live, on average, 14 years longer than their black counterparts. Additionally, black infant mortality rates are three times higher than those of white infants. Income and home ownership disparities are also glaring issues. The median household income for black residents stands at just over $33,000, significantly lower than the citywide median of over $45,000. Moreover, home ownership rates among black individuals are among the lowest in the country, at only 28.6%. Milwaukee is also notable for its high levels of segregation, with more than three in four black residents needing to relocate to achieve full neighborhood integration, contrasting sharply with cities like Detroit, where seven in 10 black residents would need to move for similar integration. Number seven, Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio shares similar struggles with racial inequities akin to its Ohioan counterpart, Akron. Like Milwaukee, Cleveland faces significant health disparities between its black and white residents. For example, the black infant mortality rate is 15.6 per 1,000 births, whereas the white infant mortality rate is only 2.5 per 1,000 births, a disparity of over six times. Unfortunately, racial disparities extend beyond infancy in Cleveland. Half of black children live in poverty, compared to 3 in 10 white children, contributing to an overall poverty rate of 43.3% for black residents, significantly higher than the 26.2% rate for white residents. Number 6. Syracuse, New York Situated in upstate New York, Syracuse boasts a population of approximately 146,000, making it the 13th largest city in the state. However, its standing in terms of racial equity is far from commendable. According to Smart Asset, Syracuse ranks as the second worst city in the United States for black Americans, especially concerning economic indicators. Merely 15.6% of black adults hold a bachelor's degree, and a mere 56.4% participate in the labor force. Meanwhile, Onondaga County, encompassing Syracuse, grapples with one of the most severe racial income disparities nationwide. While the median income for white households stands at $63,640, black households earn approximately half that amount, with a median income slightly exceeding $33,000. Number 5. Cincinnati, Ohio Adding to our roster of Ohio cities, Cincinnati claims the fifth spot. As per the aforementioned study by Smart Asset, Cincinnati emerges as the worst city economically for black Americans across the nation. This unfortunate distinction arises from various factors, notably the low percentage of black adults holding bachelor's degrees at 14.9% and the abysmal home ownership rate among black residents at 23.1%, the lowest nationwide. Furthermore, the median household income for black residents stands starkly at $24,300, significantly below the overall median of just over $45,000. Recent research underscores racial disparities in Cincinnati's public school system, particularly concerning school policing. Shockingly, black students in Cincinnati public schools are eight times more likely to face expulsion without instruction five times more prone to emergency removal, and six times more likely to receive out-of-school suspensions. Despite strides made towards desegregation, Cincinnati continues to grapple with segregation issues. Roughly one-third of Cincinnati residents reside in neighborhoods comprising at least 75% of a single racial group, exacerbating lower home ownership rates among black individuals, which hover around a mere 33%. Number 4. Fresno, California In a recent report by 24-7 Wall Street, Fresno, California emerged as one of the most concerning cities for black Americans. This city, situated in Central California, just southeast of San Francisco, exhibits significant socioeconomic disparities. Notably, disparities in health, income, and employment plague the black community in Fresno. Health outcomes are particularly concerning with the black mortality rate surpassing that of whites by 20%. Economically, black households earn a mere 59 cents for every dollar earned by the median white household. Household segregation persists, 
contributing to a low black home ownership rate of 25% compared to 66.5% for whites. Furthermore, the unemployment rate among black residents is more than double that of white residents, earning Fresno the unfortunate distinction of having the second highest black unemployment rate in the nation. Number three, Elmira, New York. Elmira, New York shares more than just its upstate location with Syracuse. It also shares troubling disparities for its black residents. This city ranks among the worst places for black people to live in America and is marked by long-standing racial inequalities. Black residents in Elmira face significant economic challenges with a median income of only 42.6% of their white counterparts. Unemployment rates for black residents are three times higher than for white residents, exacerbating financial instability. Home ownership rates are shockingly low for black individuals, standing at 22.4%, compared to a significantly higher rate of 71.7% for whites. Number two, Springfield, Illinois. Recent analysis reveals Springfield as the third most racially segregated metropolitan area in the United States. Furthermore, based on 2019 data, the disparity in median household income between black and white residents was the most pronounced nationwide. Sadly, Springfield's poverty rate among black residents is nearly four times higher than that of white residents, surpassing all other cities in Illinois. Due to these troubling statistics and more, Springfield ranks second on our list of the worst cities in America for black individuals. Number one, Toledo, Ohio. Although another Ohio city, Toledo grapples with severe racial disparities, earning it the dubious title of the worst city in the nation for black Americans, according to LendingTree. Various socioeconomic indicators, including homeownership rates, unemployment rates, and median income, underscore this designation. Education disparities are evident, with suburban schools predominantly white, while those within Toledo city limits enroll a significantly higher percentage of students of color, particularly black students. This likely reflects broader issues of segregation within the city. Even as students mature, challenges persist. For instance, a mere 14.8% of black adults in Toledo hold a bachelor's degree or higher, compared to 19.6% of the city's overall population. Income disparities are stark, with the median household income for black residents trailing significantly behind that of white residents. Home ownership rates also diverge sharply, with white residents substantially more likely to own homes than their black counterparts. Furthermore, significant employment gaps persist between white and black residents, with black individuals facing disproportionately high unemployment rates. These sobering statistics underscore Toledo's status as the worst city for black Americans in the United States. Thanks for tuning in to today's eye-opening analysis of the worst cities for black Americans in the United States. We've delved deep into the socioeconomic factors shaping the lives of black residents in these cities, highlighting the challenges they face on a daily basis. But our exploration doesn't end here. If you found this video informative and thought-provoking, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Your support helps us continue to shed light on important issues impacting communities across the nation. And remember, raising awareness is just the first step. Let's work together to advocate for change, foster inclusivity, and create a brighter future for all. Until next time, stay informed, stay engaged, and take care. Thanks again for watching.